Hi there. Visualizing your data is important for making a better business decision. I'm Nabil Murad, and in this tutorial, I'll show you a special type of visualization using conditional formatting in Excel. I call it chessboard since you highlight every other cell at the row level and the column level. Here is a sample of chessboard formatting where I have students' names as row headers, the quizzes they took as column headers, and the score they got for each one of these quizzes. Reading the score is way easier with the chessboard formatting. This formatting can be applied to many other types of data, sales, earnings, discount plans. It can be copied using the Format Painter. To create this type of formatting, we need first to learn about three functions. The row function, the column function, and the mod function. Let's start with the row function. If I select cell B2 and type equal row and then close the bracket, it will extract the row number, so it will extract number 2. If I click and drag, it's just extracting the row number. Same exact thing for the column. It extracts the column number, so if I type equal column and then I hit tab, close the bracket and hit enter, if I click and drag to the right, I'll be extracting the column number. So, the row number and the column number return numbers. What if I divide these numbers by 2? If I divide the first one by 2, the remainder will be a 0. If I divide the second one by 2, the remainder will be 1, and so on and so on. And this is what the mod function is doing. The mod function is returning the remainder. So if I type equal mod, and then I hit tab, mod of this cell B2 having the row function, and then type a comma. The second argument is the divisor. My divisor is 2, so if I close the bracket and hit enter, it says the remainder is 0. If I copy this formula down, look at that. It's returning 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and so on. So I can use this concept in applying conditional formatting. We know that in computer language, 0 corresponds to false and 1 corresponds to true. So whenever I have 1, whenever I have a true, I can apply a formatting rule and apply like a fill color for the row that will end up by creating alternating row colors. Let's see what the mod function will be doing with the column function. So if, you, if I type equal mod and then I hit tab, mod of this cell above and then comma, the divisor will be 2, close the bracket and then hit control enter. Now it's returning a 0, that's the remainder of dividing 4 by 2. If I click and drag to the right, the remainder will be 1, 0, 1, 0 and so on and I get the same exact pattern. I can use this concept for creating alternating columns. So let's see how we do that. I have a range and I would like to create like banded rows by using conditional formatting. So if I select the range and click on conditional formatting and then select new rule and then select use a formula and in the formula box I'll be typing my rule equal mod the same exact formula that we just created open bracket row and then open bracket of the active cell but I want to unlock it, so I'll hit the F4 key three times and then close the bracket for the row function, type a comma and type 2 for the divisor and say if it is equal to 1, then what would you like to do? I would like to apply a kind of formatting. Let's say I'll apply this yellow formatting and then when I hit OK and then hit OK another time, I just created banded rows. I could use the column function in combination with the mod function to creating alternating or banded columns. So I'll be using the same exact thing. I'm selecting the second range, click on conditional formatting, new rule, and then use a formula. And here I'll be typing equal mod. And then I open bracket, mod of the column function. So I'll be typing column, column of the active cell. And don't forget to unlock it because conditional formatting travels in memory 
and then I close the bracket for the column, type comma to the divisor, and then close the bracket and say, if it is equal to 1, I would like to apply a certain formatting. So if I select Format, and then let's say I would like this time to select this nice blue color, and then I hit OK, I created banded rows. In order to create this beautiful chessboard formatting, we are just combining the two formulas that we created. So let's see how we do that. This is the same exact data set without any formatting. I'll be creating two conditional formatting rules. These two rules together will give the appearance of the chessboard. The first one will create the dark color, every other cell, and the second one will be formatting the light color, every other cell. So let's start with the first rule. I click on conditional formatting and then click on new rule, use formula, and then here I'll be creating my conditional formatting rule. I'll say equal mod, open bracket, mod of the row, open bracket, which row, the active cell, don't forget, unlock the cell, close the bracket for the row function, and then type comma to and then close the bracket for the mod function. That's the first one for creating alternating rows. I want only to highlight the cells where the two rules together are delivering a one. So I say plus mod open bracket of the column of the same exact cell and unlock it F4, 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 close the bracket for the column function, then comma, to and close the bracket for the mod function. If these two together combined equal one, then what would you like to do? I would like to format with a dark color. Let's select a dark blue color. You can also apply font formatting. I can make it bold. I can make it white and then hit OK. And that will be the sample. This is a preview on how the conditional formatting will look like. And now if I hit OK, look at that. I was able to format every other cell. With the same exact range selected, I'll click on conditional formatting, new rule, and then select a formula. And I'll be creating the same exact thing. What is highlighted right now in dark blue are the cells where the two conditions added together, the two mod functions added together are returning a 1. What if they are not returning a 1? If they are not returning a 1, then I would like to format in a different color. So I'll say equal mod. I could have copied the same function one more time. I'll type row, open bracket, select the active cell, unlock the cell by hitting F4, close the bracket for the row function, type comma, and the divisor is 2, and close the bracket for the first function. Then add a plus sign, and write the second mod function, open bracket, I'll type a column function to return the column number, and which column? The column for the active cell, don't forget to unlock it, and then close the bracket for the column function, type a comma, and then type 2, the divisor for the second mod function, close the bracket. And here I want to say, unlike the previous example when I said when both mod functions together are returning 1, now if they are not returning 1 greater than, smaller than, which means not equal to 1, in this case I would like to format with a different color. Let's say I want to format the font, let's make it blue and make it bold and for the fill color let's say I want to select the light yellow color and now when I hit OK and another OK and the third OK this is what I get so it looks nice I can see alternate colors at the row level at the column level it makes it easier for me to read the numbers to read the score for each quiz and this is what we call the chessboard conditional formatting if you enjoyed this training video, like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in our next training video.